Hey there, little explorers. Welcome to our colorful world of science, where we're going to dive into the amazing adventure of how plants grow. Are you ready? Let's go. Imagine with me for a moment. Picture a tiny little seed, just like a little treasure hidden in the soil. This seed is so small that you might not even notice it if you walked right past it. But inside this tiny seed is a big, big secret. It holds everything it needs to become a beautiful plant. Isn't that exciting? Now, you might wonder, what happens to that little seed? Well, first, it needs a cozy home. That's right. The ground is like a warm blanket for our seed. It snuggles up in the soft, dark soil, where it feels safe and sound. But wait! It's not just the soil that helps our little friend. It also needs a drink. Just like you need water to grow strong and healthy, our seed does too. When the rain falls, it soaks into the ground, and our little seed drinks it up. Yum! Says the seed, as it gets all the water it needs. But there's more. Do you know what else our seed needs? Sunlight, that bright, warm sunshine that makes you feel happy. When the sun shines down, it tickles the seed and tells it, it's time to wake up. E e e e e and guess what? The seed starts to sprout. It pushes its way up through the soil, stretching its tiny little leaves toward the sky. Look at me! It shouts with joy. Now as our little plant grows, it starts to explore the world around it. It reaches for the sun, soaking up all that golden light, and it drinks up the water from the soil. And just like you, it needs food to grow strong. But how does a plant eat? That's the coolest part. Plants are like little chefs. They use sunlight, water, and air to make their own food through a special magic trick called photosynthesis. Can you say that with me? Photosynthesis. Great job. So, what is photosynthesis? Well, it's like a superpower that plants have. They take in sunlight and mix it with water and air, and then, ta-da, they create their own food. It's like making a yummy smoothie, but instead of fruit, they use sunshine. And guess what? While they're making their food, they also give us something very special in return. Can you guess what it is? Yes. Oxygen. That's the air we breathe. Isn't it amazing how plants help us stay alive? As our plant continues to grow, it might start to blossom with beautiful flowers. Flowers come in all sorts of colors, red, yellow, blue, and even purple. They're like nature's confetti, celebrating the plant's growth. And do you know what else is super cool? Flowers attract all sorts of friendly creatures, like bees and butterflies. These little helpers love to visit the flowers, sipping sweet nectar and spreading pollen from one flower to another. This is how new seeds are made, so the adventure can start all over again. Now, let's think about what happens when our plant grows really tall and strong. It might become a tree. Can you imagine climbing a big tree, feeling the rough bark under your hands, and looking out at the world from way up high? Trees are like nature's skyscrapers. They provide homes for birds, squirrels, and all sorts of critters. They give us shade on a hot day and even wood for building things. Isn't it wonderful how a tiny little seed can grow into something so big and important? But remember, little friends, plants need our help too. We can be plant superheroes. How? By taking care of them. We can water them when they're thirsty, give them plenty of sunlight, and make sure they have enough space to grow. And if you ever see a weed trying to sneak in and take away a plant's food or water, you can gently pull it out to help your plant stay healthy and strong. Oh, and let's not forget about the magic of seasons. Do you know what happens when it gets cold? Some plants take a little nap during winter. They go to sleep under the snow and rest until spring comes back with its warm sunshine. When spring arrives, it's like a big wake-up party. Plants wake up, stretch their leaves, and start growing again. It's a cycle of life, and it's so beautiful to see. So next time you see a plant, remember all the incredible things it has gone through to grow. From a tiny little seed to a tall, strong tree, every plant has a story to tell. And you, my little scientists, can be part of that story. You can plant your own seeds, watch them grow, and learn about the magic of nature right in your backyard. Isn't science just the best? It's full of surprises, adventures, 
and amazing discoveries. So let's keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep learning together. And always remember, every little seed has the potential to grow into something amazing, just like you. Thanks for joining me on this adventure today, little explorers. Keep being curious, and I can't wait to see you next time for more fun science stories. Bye for now, and happy exploring!